<laughs> Good morning, everybody. We have Nastia here. Come closer. Come closer. Show him. We, but when, when I got the haircut the other day, we went together and we got our haircut. So you can't see mine because mine's just like, <laughs> I have, have, I'm working on getting it in the position that I like it in. But okay. So Kendra, Joyce, Helen, CJ. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Um, we are doing an upper body and abs workout today. Okay. We are using, did I write this down? I thought I did. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that little feedback. Okay. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this today. We're going to use the bands, the tubing that I shared um, on YouTube and on Facebook the other day with a link. If you don't have these, they're available on my Amazon store. There's a link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This one here has handles that are stuck to it already, so they, they don't come off. The ones from my Amazon store, the handles can be used on different, you can switch them out for the bands. So when I realized that Nastia was coming this morning, I was like, oh, I only have a pair with, ba with handles. So here's the deal. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you the move, how to do a move. So first move today is going to be chest press with dumbbells, okay? You need dumbbells and bands. We're going to do the move with dumbbells first, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with bands. So if you don't have bands, you can do all dumbbells today. Sound good? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, bon dia. Hello, hello. Renata is coming back in May. Ooh. I know. Last time Nastia got to meet Renata, that was exciting. Okay. So we're going to get our bodies warmed up. We have, I started a second late today, and... Uh, Sorry, I'm like, what is going on? Let me get some music. I don't know where my producer is. All right. <laughs> I know where he is. I hear him banging outside. Okay. All right. So, legs out wide. You're going to start press. Press. So how are you today, Nastia? I'm doing wonderful. Can I say that I stole this haircut idea from Kevin's mom? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Ronnie. There she goes. Looks great on you. Yes. Okay. Now add the legs in here. Add it. Add it. Press. Good. Press. I think Jake just got here. Anna's barking. Good. <laughs> Good morning, Natalie, Annie, Donna, Liam, Josie, and Rio de Janeiro. Oh, I want to go there. <laughs> and press overhead. Come on. Uh, for any of anyone that's just starting one of my videos, most I'd say 95% of my videos are live. So if you're like, who is this woman talking to? I have a camera, or I have a TV set up here with everybody's comments. So people can ask questions and comment during the workout if they need to. All right, now, one arm across, swing it out, swing it out, swing it out. Good. Keep going. Over, over. Good. Hello, Monica. Lori. Lou is on the way back from the spa. Oh, good. Good. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. You got four and three. And two. Now stop the feet. Bring your arms out. And I want you to press the walls away. Press. And press. And press. Press. You can put the legs in it if you want to. <laughs> it's exciting. Good. Press. Press. Now pick that up. Press. 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 Push. Boom. That's very Jane Fonda. <laughs> so Jane Fonda. Nasty and I talked about this once before. <laughs> She's like, I don't know Jane Fonda, but I know Sea Dorner Fitness. And I was like, that's right. Okay. <laughs> now, hold it right here. Hold it. Bring it in front. Palms down. Relax your shoulders. Crisscross. Go. Crisscross. All right. Let's go back to your tap. So, Jane Fonda's an actress, but she had, like, she was like the workout video queen in the, in the 80s. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and she's beautiful still. Like, she's amazing. Keep going. Keep going. Up. Good. If I showed you a picture of her, you might recognize her. Okay. <laughs> Good. And four, three, two. Now hold it in front. Hold it. Come down into a little bit of a squat. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now bring your elbows down. I want you to start twisting your waist, but without moving your legs, Jim. <laughs> By the way, I got a really cute video of Jim and Brian doing bar yesterday. <laughs> keep going, keep going. All right. Now add a push across. Push across. So keep it coming from the waist as well. 
Good. So we're really warming up those arms. <laughs> That's right, Em. All right. <laughs> so she, keep going. Clearly she's loving her hairdo. She's letting it flop side to side. Her husband said to her the other day, get over your hair. Because <laughs> she was like, <laughs> I love it. Keep going. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big breath in. Take it down. <laughs> Round it up and back down. Good. <laughs> so Rebecca said, I loved my Jane Fonda workouts. Yes, I'm old. No, you're not. Because I did Jane Fonda workouts, and I'm not old. <laughs> good. <laughs> and down. Good. Uh, yeah, Grace and Frankie, so good. Down. Now all the way up, all the way up. And four, three, two. Reach it way up, reach it way up. Now fold it forward. Good. And just shake out your neck a little bit. Shake it out. Okay, bend your knees, roll up and shake, 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 shake. One more thing, right arm up, balance on your left foot. You're gonna do a repeater knee. We're gonna do 24, so three sets of eight. Okay, knee to elbow, abs in strong. Here we go, one, two, and three, four, five. Look at our matching outfits. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, good, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, four more, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna switch sides. Ready? Here we go, good, ha. Yeah, Denise Austin, the go-to. Five, six, seven, good, keep going. 12, Can I just say 13. one thing? Yeah. It's so important to have workouts early in the morning. <laughs> because you can get it in just before your brain realizes what it's doing. And stop, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so listen up. You're gonna grab a set of heavy dumbbells, okay? Nastia, you're going with the 12. You know what? It feels like switching from eight pounds to 12. It's like uh, being promoted from kindergarten to first grade. <laughs> <laughs> I think you skipped first grade and you went right to fourth. Okay, <laughs> so these are gonna be 45 seconds. For your chest press, you're coming down, your dumbbells are up, and you're gonna go two down and two up, okay? So nice and slow and controlled. Wrists are as straight as you can get them. Back is flat on the floor. Here we go, nice and slow. Good, and you don't have to stay with two and two count, but don't rush through this. Okay, if you want to go slower than two and two count, you should feel that there. DJ Kevin Kev just joined us. Good. Stay with it. And Kev, can you give that one notch down on that? Good. Keep going. And up. Awesome. All right, let's do it, Severo. <clears throat> and up. Good. Down. Nice. And up. Good. Really press up toward the sky, and your elbows, when they come down, they're at 90 degrees, straight out from your shoulders. Good. One more. And perfect. Good. So bring the elbows down, and we're going to stand up, and you're going to grab tubing, okay? So you're going to stand up. Now, for today, because you're just kind of starting out with the tube, some of you guys, you're going to kind of have to feel it out and see what works for you. So... I got the band under my shoulder blades here, okay? And I don't want you to hold the handles. I want you to grab, like, or if you have to make it tighter, wrap it around your shoulders. Okay, wrap it around your hands, okay? Now, you could even do this without handles if you just want to hold a band, all right? You'll get used to this. Wrists are straight. You got fists. And you're gonna go really slow. You're gonna go push together and in. Here we go. Now push, good. Now, do you feel much resistance there? Not a lot. Not a lot? Okay, so what you can do, yes. So what you can do, if you're, keep going, if you're not feeling a lot of resistance, is grab it farther down to make your, to get, you know, more of a tension. Good? Yes, good, keep going. Now also remember that we're doing two sets of each of these. Excellent, good. And your form is nice and nice and strong there, Nastia. Good. 
Boom. Good. And then. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this, right? The, the tubing gives you resistance in both directions. So it probably does feel different, okay? And with this, somebody asked the other day, honey, okay, what's the difference between these and the loop bands? We got a lot more options with these. Okay, nice. Put it down. We're going back to chest press on the floor, okay? And this time when you do your chest press with the dumbbells, you're going to turn them to palms face each other and then down, okay? How do the 12s feel? Challenging? <laughs> Ask me again. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's go real slow, turn them in and together, and then bring it down. Ready? Here we go. No, I want this nice and slow. Okay, so we're gonna work this way today. So you can really work through what's going on here. Got any questions, Nastia? Uh, not yet. Okay, good. good. <laughs> she does ask really good questions. But. Nice. So, it wasn't until I started working chest and back a little bit heavier that I started to notice the definition that I wanted in my shoulders, biceps, and triceps, okay? Because <laughs> those muscles are helping push and slowly release, okay? So they're helping the chest muscles, which are big, and you can take that down. Good, elbows, and come up, okay? So now's a good time if you feel like, oh, that was pretty easy with the band. You could go to a heavier band if you want to. <clears throat> So I'm not going to use handles, I'm just going to use the 50 here, which says 50 pounds, but it just depends on where you're holding it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it around. What's that? Same thing. Yep, so same thing. But I want you to go one forward and then three slowly back. And here we go. Hey, Terry. One, back. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, under, under the arms. Yep, under the arms. Yep, good. Good. So press in, two, good. <laughs> oh, that's good, Severo. Come on. Hey, Emily Grace. Good. I love that, Emily. Forward, good. Good, so I want the one forward to be fast. Fast in and then slow out. Okay, good, good. And now you need to bend your elbows. Yes, good. <laughs> Bring it in and bend to 90 degrees. Good. Push, bend to 90, bring it back. Good, keep going. When you come back though, Keep your shoulders down. Yes, yes, perfect, perfect. Good, good, good. So it's the same thing you did on the floor with your dumbbells. And stop, perfect, all right. We have abs coming up. All right, so let's come to the floor. <laughs> Option one is to do this with legs bent one at a time, or both legs bent one at a time. Option, the next option would be one leg. Okay, and then the next option would be both legs together. So what we're gonna do today, hands down, you're gonna go six down and then two up. Okay, <laughs> if you want to, you can bring your hands behind your head, elbows on the floor and shoulders up. Let your head sit in your hands. Squeeze your legs together hard, one minute. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Five, six, two up. Again, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, two up. Seven. Good. Squeeze the legs together hard. Three, three, four, five, six, up. Two. Good. It's six down. Nice and slow. Control it. Four, five, six, and up two. Yeah, Maggie, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, up, up, good, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, up, oh yeah, squeezing the legs together activates your inner thighs, which, two, up, and stop, which will help you feel it straight up the middle of your abs. Hands behind your head, you're gonna go, Two to one side, and then two to the other side. Ready? Here we go. So it's two, two, good. So what you're doing here, perfect, good, 
Ooh. It's going sideways, okay? Sideways. So if you can't lay down for any reason, you could go side. Yes. Yes, Allison, I'm going to be using them more often. Yes. So guys, if you don't have these tubing bands, I'm going to be using them more often. So again, link is in the description. Keep going. Side. And side. So today is a good like kind of learning experience with these bands. Because I know a lot of you are using them for the first time. I know a lot of you have used them before. But I'm going to give you lots of uh, form tips on how to get better with them. Nastia texted me last night. She wasn't going to come. And she was like, you're using new equipment? I should come. <laughs> and then she changed her meeting even though she said the meeting changed. It was her. I'm kidding. <laughs> did you change it? I did. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay. Stand it back up. All right. With dumbbells, you're going to do bent over rows. Let's go one up, three down. Okay? So, this is that one where someone had asked with Nastia's form and their own form. You want your hands to come to like your bottom rib, not here. See the difference? Okay, so one up, three down, 45 seconds. And here we are. So up, good, good. So I've been reading uh, facts on this about our body and abs. Mm -hmm. So everybody has abs. Yes. Whether you see it or not. <laughs> not everybody has abs. You have abs. But what was, and you, Kevin, <laughs> But what was interesting is that women have to work harder to make them visible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my favorite, you don't have to train abs every day to make them visible. I think Nasty is going to become a trainer. <laughs> they need to break like any other muscle in your body. And stop. Put them down. Exactly. Okay. So have a seat. I'm going to need a close-up here, Kev. So grab your tube. All right, so what you're going to do, or you're going to feel weird at first. <laughs> grab the middle of your band, lay it on top of your shoes. Okay, so lay it on top. And believe me, when I've done this in class, I see everybody like, okay, so <laughs> on top. Wrap it around the outside and up through the middle. So it's looped around your feet, okay? Now, the looser it is on your feet, the harder it's going to be up here. The tighter, the easier. So you're going to keep a slight bend. Now, I know this is going to be easy for me, so what I'm going to actually do is hold lower, not the actual handles, all right? And we're going to go one, two, three, and in. So you're getting rows. Hey, buddy! Hey, look who's back in town! Okay, you ready? <laughs> Here we go. One, 45 seconds. <laughs> Hello, Louie Lou. How's my bunny? <laughs> Good. Louie makes an Amanda appearance. He just jumps in, surprisingly. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, he's like, no, I like Nastia better. Come on. What? I see you all the time. Do I put my knees together or? Knees together. Good. That's a good question because if, you, if your band is really loose, if you bring them apart, it actually will make it harder. Okay. And how, how much back should they be leaning? Um, you don't have to lean too far back. Yeah, just so that you feel like you're... I feel like if I lean farther back, that it keeps my back straighter. So, meaning, if you're like this, you might be more likely to do this. Okay? Yeah, so like, open your chest up and sit up. Right? Good. Perfect. Good questions. And stop. Okay, you're going back to bent over rows. <laughs> this dog. All right. All right, Whew. soften it. You go one up, three down again, here we go. 45 seconds and down. So that by this set, you should feel more in that upper back, especially because when you did that pull back, you were really isolating with the three pulse. So do you feel a little more in here? I do. Good, I do. good, come on, and back. Now, and who doesn't want to walk away from someone like, look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Everybody's like, did you see that woman's back? Go on. <laughs> or that guy's back? Sorry. <laughs> Lily, did you have a nice time at the spa? <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> nice haircut, Lou. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> uh, hey, Vanessa. And stop. Good. Okay. Back down to your rows. Really going to focus on it. So get your band around your feet again. Sits on top. Comes around. Okay. Now, if you have different lengths or different uh, strengths of bands and it didn't feel like much last time, you can go heavier or hold it farther down on your... Uh, on the band. Okay. Sitting up tall. This time, pull slow and only come partially back to release. Okay. Yes. Ready? Go. 45 seconds. Nice. So we're going to keep that in your upper back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open your chest. So your question was actually great about, open, about sitting back because when you open your chest, you're opening it up and that's where you can really squeeze the back. So if you tend to have rounded forward shoulders, right, you walk around like this, and you're doing this, you're not actually contracting the muscles because your chest is contracted. Okay? Good. Hello, my little man. Good. Good. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> Good. Greg likes your haircut, Nastia. That's Paula's husband. <laughs> Last one. Thank you. And stop. Ho! Oh! So now, did you feel biceps a little too? I did. Yes. Biceps are pulling muscles, so they're gonna be, you're going to feel them. They uh, they assist in that pull with the back. Okay. So the, uh, so they might tire out first. We're going back to six down, two up. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. So some options. One, two. Sorry, this is a minute, Kev. Five, six, and seven, eight, and it's one, two. Now options. Hands under your backside might help lift your butt a little bit and decrease the arch in your back. So if you're bringing your legs down and you feel your back coming way off the floor, bring your hands under your butt instead. Because what you want to do is keep your back as close to the floor as possible without a big arch. Okay? Two up. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. No, it's Paula's Greg. <laughs> Five, six. No, Jenna, that's a good question. Actually, when I saw Greg's name up there, I thought that she meant my buddy. Greg. <laughs> and five, six, up, up. Good. One. It's the last one here. Five, six, and good. Feet flat. Hands behind. We're doing two to one side and then two to the other. 60 seconds. Ready? And let's go, let's go. And two, good, uh, good. <laughs> well, Lou didn't get a haircut, he just got a bath. <laughs> he got a haircut a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Kevin has not gotten a haircut yet. <laughs> Keep going. Kevin's hair is officially longer than mine now. <laughs> so is, Ke sweet, so is Nastia's <laughs> husband's now that I think about it. <laughs> Nastia and I like the long hairs. <laughs> Your hair has not always been longer than mine. <laughs> and so, and so, if your hair is, Kevin and I have this, this ongoing thing. Kevin has literally spiral curls. And I'm like, your hair's so curly. And he's like, it's wavy. And I'm like, it's curly. It's curly. Would you say it's curly? Oh, yeah. And... And stop. Okay. Woo. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, one that I've shown a lot in class, we're going to hit the shoulders hard. So, you want to go lighter on the dumbbells. All right. I'm going to give you fives for this just to work on it, Nasia. I'm going to use eights and possibly tens. Okay. So, um, your first move is going to be a reverse fly. I'm using eight for it because I tend to cheat. I tend to feel it on my neck if I use something heavier. I personally like to kickstand my leg here. Both the back knee is bent, the left front knee is bent. If you don't want to do that, you can stand feet apart. You're going to go up to the side and back like you have wings, not in your neck, okay? You choose the stance that works for you. Tip over from your hips. Ready? 45 seconds. It's up. Upper body? Down. Yes, yes. So this upper body. Now, anytime you do a bent over position like this, you're also working your core. Up. Okay. okay. Why? 
You're in this position. You are holding your abs strong. If you weren't, you'd be like this, okay? And that, number one, you won't be able to squeeze in the upper back, okay? Although this move, yes, it's upper back, but it's more for the back of your shoulders, okay? Now, we just did a lot of upper back work, so there's a good chance you'll feel this in your upper back. Up and down, good. And stop, okay. Now, grab your tubing. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you blue. Okay, I'm gonna use the green. Now, on this, you are gonna wanna wrap your hands like this. Okay, you don't wanna hold the, the um, <laughs> but now, okay, you don't wanna hold the handles. So they're wrapped around. The outside edge of your hand is pressing out, but not bending your wrist. Okay, so shoulders down. You're gonna go out to the chest and back in. Here we go. Out, now if it's too easy, go closer in, in the middle of your band. Okay, back, you're, okay. Make sure your wrists are not like this, all right? And you do want a slight bend in your elbow. Side, good, good. Now, just come to the chest, don't go back here. Okay. Okay, good. So that way you're working right to the rear delts. If you're feeling it more in your neck than your back, <laughs> that's right, Jackie G. If you're feeling it in your neck or your back, your neck more than your back, you might need to go lower and work on the movement in the, in the, in the back of the shoulder. Okay, good. Good, come on. Oh, he gets a little trim with his spa treatment. <laughs> and stop, okay. Shoulders maybe a little more on that. Feel them, they're hot. They should be hot to touch. No? Upper body. Your whole upper body's hot? You're just hot. <laughs> I can't believe how cute I look. All right. It's never cold in your basement. <laughs> Thank goodness today, right? Okay. <laughs> so this time when you do these, I want you to kind of lead with your pinkies a little bit. So it's not turning them all the way back, but turn them slightly so your pinky is leading. Okay, so same position, you ready? Here we go, One, it's 45 seconds. And down, good. And up, good. So it's just a slight turn, excellent. And up. And what that does, okay, is it gets a little bit more out of the neck and into that upper back of the shoulder. Good, wonderful, keep going, keep going. And up. <laughs> Come on, Kendra. If you had flat iron Kevin's waves, would make his hair down to his butt. That's probably true. Your husband, Tim's hair is like down to the middle of his back, right? It's also curly, so it's hard to tell. His hair is curly too. I always a thought little, it was a straight. Little bit, a little bit in the back. It's wavy. Wavy. <laughs> wavy. <laughs> Last one. And stop. Good. Come down. We're going to your band one more time. Same move, but we're going to make one little change that you're just going to love me for. Come here, Lou. <laughs> okay. So, same thing, wrap the hands, wrists are straight, <laughs> you're going to go, hey Stacy, and, okay, so, 30, oh, sorry, 20 seconds like that, and so you're going to go to 45, okay, and when I get to 20 seconds left, we're going to hold it, okay, so you ready, 45 second timer, Kev, ready, here we go, so it's back, slow. Kevin has wavy and curly, beautiful hair. Ronnie's behind, I think. Good, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Side, let me give you what you really came for. <laughs> let me give you what Ronnie came for. Ronnie, I did send you this step tutorials, by the way. <clears throat> Good, I'm getting Jake in trouble again. Good. <laughs> nice. All right, hold it back, hold it back, hold it, hold it. Now, I know this is when you're gonna bend your, wanna bend your wrist, don't bend your wrist. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, open up your chest. You should be shaking a little, are you shaking? Good, make that face. <laughs> I'll tell you something about my face. And stop, your face is beautiful. There is a fact, when you're smiling, you're working out 12 muscles. When you're frowning, you're working out 11 muscles. Oh. Yay, extra muscles. <laughs> She is full of fitness facts today. I know, you know what, I'm done. You're gonna teach the rest of the class. Okay, we're gonna go, oh, we got two more moves. Side raise with dumbbells, okay? 
So two, two more here. I'm supposed to do all four of these together. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna go side and down. Here we go, 45. Now, the deltoids, your shoulders, have the, the front, which is here. We're working the lateral of your deltoids. And before this, we worked your real, rear delts, okay? So a lot of times, and I've said this before, people who work shoulders, a lot of times think that they're supposed to feel it in their neck, okay? So your shoulder muscles, your deltoids are actually here. They're not here. Okay, so like if Nastia said to her husband, will you rub my shoulders? Usually people think here, right? But really that's your neck. <laughs> Good. But Come really on. it's another way around. I'm rubbing his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get neck rubs. <laughs> Stop, Nastia's like, can you keep doing that please? All right, okay. Grab your band, grab your band. Or your tubing. You're gonna step on it. <laughs> this is where it gets fun. Okay. Is blue good or black? Uh, use the black. Use the black. Okay. Now. Oh, yeah. It All right. I'm heavy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, option. Option one, one arm. Option two, other arm. Okay. Now, we're going to lift. Same move. Up and down. Oh, okay. Now, ready? <laughs> Well, 45. Gonna, gonna Here we go. Way, so so up and down. All right, keep going, keep going. Now I'm gonna give her mine, okay? Because, as I can see, she's struggling with the neck there. Okay. Now, what you don't want is for your wrist to bend. Oh. You want to lift with your, hold it with your thumb, hold it with your thumb. I should have said that before. Yeah, hold it with your thumb. Oh, but shoulders. But I don't have my legs so wide, then I have more than. Bend. Yes, if you don't have your legs so wide, that could help. That could help. Good. Keep going. Now. Now I can see that you're using your neck there, so I'm gonna hop, pop this off of here and give her this one. Good, except for it's almost done. <laughs> Good. Oh, so sorry. Have a strong neck. Well, <laughs> and, and stop. Okay, so I also noticed a little bit, I couldn't get this band to her in time. She was kind of lifting a little from here. You want to be able to control it from here, okay? So now what we're gonna do is go front raises, front raises. And same, you're gonna lift up to the front and down. Okay, so with your dumbbells, three, two, here we go. So you're gonna go up, up, and down. Okay, so for some of you guys, you might be like, this is not that, this is not that tough of a workout, but it, you're gonna have to get used to the bands, okay? So for some of you, you might be like, oh my God, this is really hard because the bands I'm using are really crazy heavy and I feel everything on my neck, okay? You're gonna have to, use, get, have to get used to switching out bands and finding the bands that are gonna be right for each move and where you need to hold them. Now she's having trouble, so go one arm at a time. Go ahead. Ah, oh, so you see that? She could go with one arm at a time, right? Because you get a little bit more, a little bit less to use your back. You're a little more stable in your core with one arm at a time, okay? And stop, okay. These, I'm gonna give you this one, okay? Under the band, okay? Now, my handle does um, does turn, okay? So I want you to lift and down or both. But don't go all the way down where it makes you turn. So you're going up, up. You see how I'm kind of keeping it in the front? Okay, I'm gonna help her with the form here. So step on that, okay? She's gonna step on it. Good morning, Melita. Hey, Bobby. Nastia is so cute, Bobby says. Okay, so arms down by your side. Okay, you're gonna go up. Ooh, yeah, nice. And down. Now, not all the way down, just to here. Ready, go. Up and then down. So if the band is too much, you could take it without the band, right? Or you could do one arm at a time. Okay, Good. Do you hate me right now? You're my best friend, Nastia. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That is, that's Amanda and Vanessa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those two kill me. <laughs> they thought they were fired. They could never be fired, right? <sighs> so this is too heavy. Good. Good, good, good. Keep going, keep going. Up. Nice. If, if, you're, if you're done, if you're like, I can't do it anymore with good form, then you can drop it and keep going. Come on. Up. Oh, that's good. 
One more. <laughs> One more. Now that I'm here. Oh. And stop. Oh. oh. All right. Back down to your back. Back down to your back. One more little ab segment here. We're going to do bicycles. Coming down to your back. And switch. Here we go. One minute. Cross. And cross. Jackie, are you there? And cross. Good. Keep going. And cross. Good. Cross. Good. So Allison, one arm at a time, she asked. Is it better to switch? I would do one arm at a time. Um, Jenna just asked that same question last week about hammer curls. I would do one arm at a time, okay, because you know you can do it with that heavier weight, right? So maybe sometimes you go one arm at a time with the heavier weight just to kind of see, to say, oh, you know what, I can do it. And then little by little, you'll be able to go up. You'll be able to do both arms with that weight. Keep going. Good. And side. Good. And side. Good. So again, Nastia had a good, a good point earlier. We all have abs. There are muscles that every single person has, right? You don't have to work them every day, right? Every and person that's being born with different set of tissues, so you can have six pack, four stop. pack, and or up. even legs up. Five pack. Watch. Up. Here we go. Lift, 45 seconds, Kev. Sorry, one minute, one minute. I'm sorry, sorry. One minute, good. Up, good. Or 45 now. Good, keep going. Up, good, good. good. What's that? It's Friday, good, good, good. So keep your knees just a tiny bit bent. Nastia, good. Awesome, perfect, good. Nice, awesome. And try to go really slow so you don't use any momentum. So a little lift. Ooh, did that make a difference? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Now, yo, know, it's so funny. So I don't know if you guys saw yesterday. I posted a video. I've been practicing my handstands. And my girl Puzzle Fit, Crystal, who I got to meet when I was down in Alabama a few weeks ago on February. We're sitting there at lunch, and she's talking about her abs. And she pulls her shirt up. To, to, I can look at her abs. And Kevin, Kevin, oh, hold on. Kevin looks at her and he goes, holy be she pulled her shirt up and her abs were just like BAM! And I was like, ah. <laughs> I don't think, stop, good. I don't think I'd actually ever seen a, a person's abs in person that looked that like, BAM! <laughs> okay. Well, actually, it depends also on genetic. Every Genetics. Every person has yes. abs that can show up. Yes. So don't be too hard on yourself. Exactly. Okay, so, triceps, triceps, one arm. You're gonna bring your arm around your head and you're gonna go up and down. Okay, so we're gonna do this with the dumbbell and then with the band. With the band, it's pretty rough, so I'm just gonna tell you. Okay, so you're here, ear, bicep is next to your ear. You're gonna go 45 seconds up and down. Good, keep going. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna steal you 12. Good, keep going. Up, nice. Up. Leslie, is it okay to stand? Can't see it on one foot instead of two if the band gets yes that's perfect leslie yep that's that's perfect good so you could stand with the one foot on the band if it's if it's too much good good question leslie nice good Whew. my shoulders are on fire <laughs> good so right here we're working triceps triceps so this is the outside of your the under part of your arm that people are like why does that jiggle because it's under your arm gravity <laughs> good, good. And stop. Oh, switch arms, switch arms. So let's do the other arm. Bring it down. You ready? Here we go. I'm looking at the time. I keep. So I, I set my clock, the clock on the wall over there. I set it to be like two minutes fast. Okay. So that way I'm like, you okay, you wrap this yeah. up. <laughs> the, that's my wrap it up box. Oh, that, that's for the class. <laughs> does, does anybody know the wrap it up box? Somebody has to know the wrap. <laughs> wrap it up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Keep that arm close to your head. Yeah, good. So it's just bending here. Perfect, perfect. Good, good. Another thing sometimes I see here are people like bending the wrist. Don't do that. Press the outside edge of your hand against the inside edge of that dumbbell head. Good, keep going. Whew. Ah, good. 
Trudy, oh wait, Trudy knows the wrap it up box. What am I talking about? And stop. Okay, so grab your hand, grab your band. Um, you take that one, okay? Mm -hmm. Look at how I'm going to set this up. Kev, give him a close up. Okay. Band on the floor. One in your right hand. Step on the band with your left foot, okay? Now give him the full screen, Kev. Okay? Take your right foot, step it in front. Take your right arm up and overhead. Okay. Now, hand open. You're going to take your hand like back to like the back part of the crown of your head and then push it open push it up if it's too easy you step farther in on the band if it's too hard you step farther out okay so let's go 45 seconds you can hold it or not here we go so you're going down two press with the outside edge of your hand so your palm is facing me now i'm going to bring my arm out because what happens okay what happens is this starts to work, stabilizer muscles, if I'm not holding it in place, okay? So if you don't feel comfortable and your arm is out here and you're doing this, first of all, that's no good because you're gonna hurt your shoulder, okay? Keep it controlled, nice, down and up. Ah, good. <laughs> yes, Trudy, come on. <laughs> good. Oh, yes, do you feel that? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, why is that so hard as opposed to the dumbbell? Because stop. You're getting resistance in both directions. Actually, okay. Also so. here. Is that fine? Yes. Okay. So you might have been you might have been pushing with the outs with the wrong part of your hand. So let me just double check it. I'll look at your form. If you felt that more in your forearm, I'm gonna check ch give you a little form check here. Okay. So I'll check you before you wreck you. Okay. You ready? Bring it down. Okay. Now, I, I, mine kind of turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That handle is going to sort of turn. Remember, your left foot is in front. Okay, it comes up kind of right up the middle of your, your light shining holder. You ready? <laughs> Here we go. So it's up. Okay, I see what's going on. Keep going. So her, um, her palm is back. I don't want that. I want it. Yes, okay. right there. Okay. okay. So, yeah. So palm, fingers to the sky. Good. And this is going to come, this needs to be behind you, kind of. Yeah, there, down. She's a, little, she's a little wrapped up. Press with the outside edge of your hand. Okay, good. Is that a little better? Less tension here? Yes. Good, yes. okay. So. It's also harder. Yes, <laughs> more tricep, right? So she was kind of holding the handle like this. These slide, okay? So these slide. If you're holding it, keep going, and it's like this. That's gonna, you're gonna feel a lot of it in here. So you want your hand against the outside edge, open it up and press, and then you really focus on the tricep. Okay, good, good, good. And stop. Okay, we gotta get biceps in here. So we're gonna do one set of biceps with the dumbbell, one set of biceps with the band. All right, you're gonna go tens, because I know you can. Here's a 10, I got another one. Where's my other 10? It's there somewhere. We got another, there it is. Right there, okay, okay. <sighs> All right, so we're going to go up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. So here we go, 45, out. Now, when you rotate, you don't bring your elbows away from your, your arms. You don't do that from your body, okay? The rotation does come from your shoulder and your rotator cuff. All right, so good. Now, I wouldn't say this is necessarily a rotator cuff building exercise or maybe a little bit just because of the movement of the rotation but you're not getting force outward or inward it's just like a bicep isometric okay so yeah you are rotating a little bit but it isn't necessarily a rotator cuff move good up <laughs> by the way is that jill that jill that's on right now Stop. Okay. Grab your band. We're getting down on the floor for that same position of the, the handles that you used before. So you're wrapping it around. So remember, it sits on top of your feet and pull it in. Me too, Jill. Now, on this one, legs apart will make it harder. And I want your legs straight. Now, that band might feel easy. But you're going to go... Curl. Give me a close up, Kev. Okay. Elbows stay in the same place, but your hands go out. So don't move your elbows, just your hands. 
to make a V. Bring it in, and then bring it down. Don't move your elbows. So right now, and I, I see this a lot, so don't worry. You're not the only one that does it. Not this. Hands only. Okay, palms face your body. In and down. Ready? 45 seconds. Up, out. So you come up and they're parallel. You just bring your hands out. Don't move your elbows. So you're still going out like this. Keep going. Good. Good. Yes, that's better. Good. So you don't go so far out. Right, and then down. Ready? So come up. No, just your hands. Just your hands go out like a big, make a little V. Like, boom. That's it. Out and in. Yes, ready, go. Up, hands, good. Good, keep going. So you're just going, boop, just your hands. Good, 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 good. How's that feel? And, <laughs> don't complain in 10 more seconds. By the way, Jill, are you the one that uh, helped me out with that crazy lady's comment? Now hold it right here, hold it right here. Okay, bring it in, bonus. Give me a B, Kev. Give me a B, like Janet Jackson. Ready? Pull it in. 45 seconds. Last rest round here. Up. <laughs> Blow out the biceps, guys. Come on. Woo. Ah, thanks, Sandy. Good. Good. Can I just say two more facts? You got two more facts? All right, Kev, turn the music down. Let Nasty give her facts. Give me two, give me one notch down on that. Fact number one. Spot training will not make your abs be more visible. Fact number two, if you don't subscribe, you are more likely to miss the next workout. <laughs> what? You know what? I'm not doing my channel anymore. I'm just going to have Nasty do it. Jesus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin is dying right now. Good. Take that. <laughs> Hand here. Good. Stretch it out. <laughs> oh, Jill from Minnesota. Okay. You know, some, there was some lady. This was the funniest thing. So some lady on the step work, one of the step workouts, writes, too fast and she's so annoying. And I said, well, you could talk to, you could, yeah, I said, what did I say to her? I go, um, sorry, for, thanks for your feedback. And remember, I'm a person, so you can just direct your insults straight to me, not about me. <laughs> so that, <laughs> Because I don't, this lady's clearly, whatever. Anyway, so somebody else named Jill wrote something like, well, laughing is good for the soul, you know, or something like that. And it was just, uh, she's like, there's plenty of other channels out there that you could go to. See you later, or something. It was fantastic. Cross one leg over. Give me a quick little hip stress, just stress, just for the end of the week. Oh, Jill. Just for the record, my five-year-old likes your step classes, and she's not complaining. <laughs> I don't know. No, it was just, I, I actually wasn't upset about the complaint at all. It was just really funny. Because, like, and, and especially this woman, Jill, her comment on it was just hilarious. And then the lady wrote back, LOL, and Jill writes, that's right, laughing is much better than complaining. <laughs> like, exactly. So I was going to say, if that's Jill, you're awesome. Good. Well, yeah, I love it when people leave a comment like, she is blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hello, I'm a person. I'm not, an, I'm not like an AI robot that like doesn't read these things. <laughs> oh, speaking of comments, I personally love reading your comments. Oh, Please leave a comment. Yes, yes. She, so if you see someone com respond to your comment named Anastasia, that is Nastia. Okay, so leave a comment. By the way, guys, that's nice to leave me a comment. I love reading them. I read. Nastia said to me, switch arms. Nastia said to me yesterday, how do you have time to do that? I go, I read every single comment. Now, I'm having trouble keeping, I'm, I'm having trouble keeping the time to to write back on every single comment, so I'm not really doing that as much anymore. But I do read every single comment. Shake it out, one arm across. And you guys should read the comments too, because the comments sometimes, like, you know, people write things like, like yesterday, the hit bar. Someone said on that workout, they said, I was gonna turn this off in the first couple minutes because it was dancey. And I kept hearing your voice saying, just try, just try. And then she loved it. So you just don't know. And guess what? If you try a workout that you don't love so much, there's 2,000 other workouts on just my channel that you could choose from. Big breath in. Let Hands together. Let us know together. what you like. Let us know what you want to see next time. And I'm sure Chris will make sure that it happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't put that pressure on me. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> All right, everybody, enjoy your weekend tomorrow. I'll see you for stuff. Thank you so much, Nastia, as always. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>